Hello folks and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be going over a couple things, mainly the variant glitch and the uh, apparent patch Rockstar has tried to put in after this update. So I'm going to be checking out that, a couple other things, but I'm just trying to make this as quick as possible so I don't drag on. So let's get in here and check out these new weapons. As you can see on my back there, those are the old versions of the glitch guns that you used to be able to get. Now I'm going to say right now I will not be messing around with any of the old guns or testing any of that in this video because I really just don't want to lose them. I really love that green look on those guns. So I don't want to risk losing it by messing around with it. I'll have to do that with like a secondary profile or maybe a friend will let me use their profile or something like that. But yeah, that'll be a video for a different day. In the meantime, the two new weapons we got that just got new variants that you can try and hit this glitch with are going to be the, uh, the Varmint Rifle and the Improved Bow. We'll start off with the Varmint Rifle here. And you're going to need to pay attention um, to something really subtle real, real quick here so I can explain the, the, the obvious patch Rockstar has put in to prevent you from getting this glitch before we get on to the, the new workaround I've been working on. So if you don't remember, if you want to see, like I said, if you want to know how the glitch used to work and all the different ways the guns could look before, check out my old video. Uh, I'm, again, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to get those versions of this glitch anymore. But if you just want to see uh, for old time's sake or curiosity's sake or anything like that, make sure to check out that video. But right now, the way that it used to work was you had to have to select the weapon that you wanted to glitch, then go down to variants and select it as fast as possible, and then spam the button on the version that you wanted to get glitched. Now it was easy to miss if you didn't see right there, they have added a buffer to where you cannot select variants as quickly anymore. So in the bottom right corner, you're going to notice that select and back are grayed out for a moment. So you can hear me. I was like, okay, it worked there, but enough time went by. But you can see I'm spamming the button, trying to get in there, but it's not working because there's a buffer. That buffer didn't used to be there before. Before, you were able to l select variant right away and then select the variant you wanted, and it would trick the game into giving you something. Because it didn't have time to load the texture yet, you would trick the game into giving you a placeholder texture, which is how you would end up tr turning your whole bolt-action rifle green or getting green highlights on your Lancaster or your shotgun. Now, with this buffer that they've patched in, you can't do that anymore. So I'm going to show you one last time. I'm hitting Varmint Rifle. Try to get in there, but it won't let me. I have to wait till Select becomes the option. So now I do not have the ability to trick the game by being fast anymore. At least not that way. But here we go to the workaround I worked on. So whatever the uh, check mark is selected on, you're going to want to spam A on the opposite one until you hear that little noise, that click noise you get. So I'm going to turn on the game audio here. Please forgive the shopkeeper. He likes to talk but this is the noise that we're looking for. That little, that little click right ah, there, that little... Take your time. You know? So what you want is you want to get that noise multiple times. Okay? So if I'm starting off with the check mark on no variant, I'm going to spam A on the naturalist variant until I hear it go like three, four, maybe five times. And then what that should do is it should turn the butt of your gun invisible. So let's try it. didn't work that time so again I'm starting on no variant selected and then I'm just spamming it you won't find a better selection of firearms this side of the river sometimes it takes me a couple tries here that might have been it nope and again, you have to spam super fast okay, let's go all the way out from here maybe this will work better looks like you've been taking oh, good care of that selected. gun and there you go so as you can see, it took um, the kind of like handle off the or the grip rather on the on the bottom of the barrel off, so that just kind of became invisible, and then the butt of the gun turned invisible as well. So you know this is this is a glitched variant version for sure. Ah oh, man, forgot to equip it. Sorry about that. And go ahead and equip this um, bolt this farmant rifle, so you can see at least. And I've said this before, I'm not really uh, that into the invisible weapons. I don't think they're bad or anything Damn. like that, just, you know, not really that cool looking, I guess. With the exception of the, the double barrel shotgun. I really liked that. The invisible shotgun was like a hand cannon. But as you can see, it's just floating there. Invisible butt of the gun, so that's, that's kind of cool if you're into that. Definitely a glitch version. And the other version we're going to get back. is very, Change your very mind plain. On so even less cool than the than the invisible version we got right here. So same method, only now we're Glad starting from a different. you taking care of it. Me. So, so now many people we're starting don't. with naturalist variant selected. We're gonna spam 
on the no variant, but what you're going to want to do is you want to spam until the check mark, even though you're spamming on no variant, the check mark's going to go up to the no variant for a second, and it's going to go back down to the naturalist variant, variant, even though you're spamming on no variant. If you keep doing it for too long, you will then reselect no variant and just be right back where you started. So, like if I started off here, got the check mark up there, back down, and then back up again, I'd be we right back where I started. Some with of the this finest of the gun quality guns in the I spam it long enough, but not too long, I will get a version of the naturalist that's missing the carvings and a little bit of the colors. So, you, you got that kind of unique ish look that it's got, but I'm pretty sure that you're going to be able to just make it with like different um, wood varnishes and colors on the metal. But I'll let you check it out right here. Okay, so that was really easy to miss, but if you didn't notice, I just messed up where while selecting the variant, the check mark Very went down good and then came back up. On this means streak. I pressed it too many times. Say I sent you. So let's start over again. I'm going to go back to the menu here to kind of give it a refresh. Oh, that buffer zone makes me sad. Looks time. like you've been okay. taking good so care of that gun. So we're spamming it on no variant with the check mark on the other variant. That time didn't work. And again, it'll take a couple tries. This one's especially kind of tricky because um, if you press too many times, you'll go back to square one. Glad to but see you're taking care of it. So many people honestly, don't. Honestly, this is just kind of for your sake, so that you don't have to go spend waste this time doing this yourself. But yeah, you're not really gonna get much from it. It's it's not a very unique look. Okay, so as you can see, I spammed it on no variant, but it put the check mark down here. Now when I leave, there you go. So it's basically the naturalist variant, but without the carvings and uh, without the engravings. So you can see Let it looks like the engravings are still help. there, but then when I leave, they're going to be gone. Come back when you're ready to spend. So yeah, the engravings are gone, the carvings are gone on the weapon. Um, overall, it's pretty much just a really plain, run-of-the-mill looking weapon. So nothing too unique about this one. Technically, you could say this is a glitched variant, but you would never I know knew you'd come that. back. So, yeah, not really not really too stoked on that one. And so far, that's all I've been able to get for the Varmint Rifle. So, Varmint Rifle, you're getting this plain... Looks like you've been plain, taking good uh, care of that gun. ...kind of normalized version of the variant. Or you would get a part... Or the, the butt of the gun and the uh, grip to turn invisible. So that's about it. Um, again, nothing too, nothing too exciting about that. Kind of bummed. The other one we have here, like I mentioned, is the improved bow. And I actually already have the, the variant, the glitch on. So as you can see, you can turn the whole bow invisible. So that is kind of cool and fun. Unfortunately, you're not able to change the color of the string. I really wanted my string to be white. That would have been really fun. So for those who don't know, this new um, improved bow, you can change, you can customize the styles of it in a way that you couldn't before with the old bow. So you can make the bow string different color, the leather on the grip, the varnish. Uh, ho however, these things do not stay, namely the, the string, because that's the only thing you're going to be able to see. When you turn it invisible, the string is going to go back to whatever color um, it was with the variant. So as you can see, we got two variants for this one. The hooded variant that you get from the uh, naturalist roll, and then the wooden inlay variant, which, off the top of my head, I actually forget where you get this one. I actually think I prefer um, either one of these variants over the invisible. But just so you can see, I'll show you. It's the same method. You're just going to start off right here and just spam until you hear it, um, that click noise a couple times. So I think I still have the game audio turned on. If the on. Italians keep taking yeah, from me, I don't know how much longer I will be able to stay open. Those damn Italians. Okay, anyways. So we're going to spam A on the check mark or on the one that isn't check marked yet. So let's. We, it works the same way for both of these. I've tried it. Let's just start in the horned variant. So I'm just going to spam. And there you go. So now we have an invisible bow and arrow. Which is kind of kind of cool. The string just floats in front of you. Uh, it's really easy to miss if you're like in the middle of a battle. or So it almost looks like it's just invisible. But if you use it, you know, it comes out in the front here and your, your arrow's not invisible. So very funny. You got a death wish I'm um, about to make come true. Oh, you are so Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was one okay. tough NPC. Our business now. Definitely have the tank go. But yeah, so the, I'm gonna get out of here while the cops are after me. Oh, no, they're 
and uh, as I run away here, I'm gonna keep the game audio off. So the tree's going to be bad. But yeah, so that's the variant glitch, the current status of the variant glitch. Um, pretty pretty bummed out to be honest that they added that buffer in, so players who never got the green guns probably won't be able to now. Um, again, I haven't tested it, so feel free to test that out and let me know in the comments if I am incorrect about that. Um, but yeah, the other thing that I wanted to address, let's see if it's still working here. I actually was making this video, I took a couple tries. Um, a lot of people are experiencing a, a bug where you are not able to summon your wagons. As you can see here, I, I would be able to if, you know, I was on the ground somewhere. Right now, I'll probably just say that my horse can't find me. But if these are grayed out for you, um, do not do not fear. Everyone is experiencing this. And there is a workaround that I have discovered. Oh, I missed my jump. Okay, so let's head over to the stables. So again, uh, if you don't know, hitting left on the D-pad, you can go down to the stables area, and you should be able to summon either your hunting or your bounty wagon. However, this new update has added in a bug where um, for a lot of people the both options both wagons will be grayed out and say that your vehicle is being summoned even though it is not being summoned you haven't had it recently anything like that so the workaround that worked for me and, and before i move on to that the big thing that is up in the air right now is that no one really knows how long the fix works some players say that it only lasts till you leave the lobby some players say that it just lasts you know like a clock amount like two hours or something and then after that it goes back the bug comes back on um Personally, I'm going to say I don't think it's the leaving the lobby thing because, like I mentioned earlier when I was making this video, I did the workaround, fixed it, and then left the lobby and came back to try a new recording, and now the bug's no longer working. So you're just going to have to, to or, or the bug's no longer there, so everything is working just fine. So just take my word for it. This should work for you. It worked for me. I had the options grayed out until I did this workaround. So let's just imagine right now that my vehicles are grayed out and saying they're being summoned. Um, you're going to come over here to your stable. It doesn't have to be Sandini. I'm just in Sandini right now. So head over to your, your local stable. And then what you're going to do is you're going to make one of your vehicles active. So let's say, for example, I want my bounty hunting wagon to be active. So if I'm experiencing the bug and I make a wagon active, when I leave, I'll be in that wagon. However, what has happened to a lot of people, and again, it's not going to show on my screen because I already did the workaround, but for a lot of people, you're going to check out your stables, your vehicles, and these are, oh, okay, it, it act, reactivated the bug, so perfect. So, as you can see, maybe I picked the wrong wagon, or I picked the bounty wagon, and now I want the hunting wagon. I'm going straight from bounty hunting straight into hunting animals, but now I can't even hunt, uh, summon my wagons anymore, so have no fear. The workaround for this is to destroy the wagon. And once you've destroyed your wagon, both wagons should be available to um, come back. Let's blow up this wagon real quick. Okay, your vehicle has been destroyed. So I left on the D-pad again. I go to my stables, my vehicles, and now they are available. Now this one's not because it just got uh, just got um, destroyed. So that's the only reason that one's not available. But as you can see, my hunting wagon is back to being available. So, recap. If you are experiencing grayed out wagons that say both your wagons are being summoned and you are not able to summon straight from the player menu, simply go to a stable and make active whatever wagon you want to have active. Now, upon leaving the stable, if your hunting wagons or if your, your, your vehicles are still grayed out after that, Simply destroy the wagon you made active, wait two minutes, it'll become available again, and both of your wagons should be made available for you. And just to prove it, I'll leave lobbies here, because I already tried it once, I left the lobby and came back. So here we go. Alright, so while this loads in, this is going to take a minute for it to load in. Um, I just want to recap what we went over here, use the time wisely. Um, it does look like Rockstar put in a patch to attempt to stop us from being able to get glitched versions of the variant guns. However, despite the patch, there is a workaround where you can get glitched versions, at least I've tested, 
on the variant on the varmint rifle and the improved bow the varmint rifle you can have a very plain looking ver uh, different version of the variant i wouldn't recommend it it just looks boring or you can have an invisible butt of your gun which is kind of cool if you like invisible weapons speaking of which the only glitched version of the improved bow that i was able to find was an invisible version and you can do that using the horned variant or the wooden inlay if you only have the wooden inlay it should work fine too but you can get a version where only the string and the arrow is visible so the entire bow itself is invisible floats on your body floats in your hand so that's kind of fun and interesting too especially if you like having invisible weapons and then we went over the wagon summoning glitch in which you are unable to summon either of your wagons for an unspecified reason just says your vehicle is being summoned simply go to a stable make one of your wagons active and then if upon leaving the stables the glitch is still occurring and you're not able to summon or dismiss either of those wagons simply destroy the wagon that you're on and it should fix up the glitch and when I load back into this next lobby here you'll be able to see that it does the 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 workaround for the bug still works so you can leave lobbies and come back at least for a certain amount of time and the bug should be gone now it is worth mentioning the bug was not active when I started showing you guys just a couple minutes ago and it became active when I took one of the stables made them active and left or took one of the wagons made it active and then left the stables it actually reactivated the bug so as you can see right here they're available so simply destroy the wagon that you have if it's still persisting. So yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to go over here today. Um, I know a lot of people have been mentioning how happy they are that this this patch, or update rather, this big update we just got, hasn't brought in any new bugs. Rockstar's notorious for releasing updates or patches or whatever to fix bugs, and then either adding in new bugs or not even fixing the bugs they tried to fix and then adding in new bugs still so we are really happy to not gotten more buggy but there's definitely the bug that i just described there with the wagon that's the big one i've been hearing about and then of course the patch on the variant um menu has made it difficult to pull off variant the variant glitch however with the workaround i showed should work just fine last thing i'm going to leave you guys off with is i did notice that in my last video i put out i mentioned that we did not get any horse masks for this outlaw pass my my video was specifically talking about what we got from the outlaw pass it was pointed out to me that we do in fact get new horse masks but they are not a part of that um of the outlaw pass so i just wanted to show that right here you can't even see them oops you can't even see the new ones you can just see the name and it just says this item is currently locked so if you didn't know there are three new masks in here and you can actually see pictures of some of them just go online check it out uh, new horse some youtubers have or content creators have made um, speculations on some of the pictures that came out one looks like a kind of like candy skull mask I believe that'll be this one um, I'm not sure if we see pictures of the other ones but do some digging online let me know in the comments what they look like but yeah, we did get three new masks from this update. It just wasn't a part of the of the outlaw pass. So this is most likely going to be something we get in the next pass around Halloween time. I know Rockstar said we can expect um, a Halloween update as well. So maybe there'll be like a 20 level outlaw pass or something like that. I don't know. But yeah, there are new masks. They, you're just not going to get them anytime soon. So yeah, I believe that's it. We covered the variant glitch, the patch to it, and my workaround the wagon summoning glitch and a workaround for that and then a workaround for that if it continues workaround for the workaround and then just wanted to mention that there are new masks here we just can't buy them yet so yeah sorry to drag on like that i got through it as quick as i could i always try to just be thorough um so thank you so much for taking the time to check out the video i hope you enjoyed it i hope this answered some questions or helped you out with uh, anything you were curious about I'm going to still be messing around with the variant glitch, see if I can figure anything else out. Make sure to hit like and subscribe to make sure that you're uh, updated anytime I upload anything else. And yeah, I will see you next time, folks. Have a good one.